Well, I blew it. Yes, I did. Yesterday, I was so stoked about telling you all about our pastor prayer breakfast that many of us Santa Cruz pastors had together and how we shared prayer requests and supported each other that I forgot to tell you it was also the National Day of Prayer yesterday. Hopefully you got the message through another source. I didn't mean to forget. I'm just a knucklehead. But I'm going to make it up to you today because, of course, God is not limited to the day that the U.S. Congress decided that we should pray together. So let's all take a moment to pray together using these prompts. I'm going to put these on screen and you can pray with me. This is similar to what I always like to do with you on the National Day of Prayer every year. But as I said, I figure any day is a good day to pray. Oh, and remember, you can always share any prayer requests that you have at tlc.org slash prayer. Lord, we pray for unity. We pray for unity in our church and unity among Christians. We pray for the Holy Spirit's power to overcome the divisive spirit of our age. And we pray for healing. We lift up all those suffering, both physically and mentally. And we ask for your healing to bring restoration and strength and comfort to those in need and to their caregivers and families. And we pray for guidance. Life seems so challenging and uncertain, and so we pray for clarity of mind, for discernment in decision-making, and for faith to trust that you, Lord, have plans for each of us and that you're always at work, even when we don't see it. And we pray for leaders. We lift up the leaders at TLC, at our other local churches, and in our government. They have a hard job, and so please give them wisdom and integrity and character. And we pray for the weak. May we stand up for those whose voices are often unheard, for the vulnerable, for the marginalized. May we be examples of your justice and mercy. And we pray for peace in Israel and Gaza, Ukraine, Yemen, Sudan, Ethiopia, Myanmar, and other war zones. God, may Christians there serve as agents of reconciliation and of hope. And God, most importantly, we pray for revival. We praise you for the 45 people baptized at Twin Lakes since Good Friday. May we continue to see an increase in the number of people seeking and finding Jesus. May we all grow in passion for your purposes and grow in the fruit of the Spirit. And finally, we pray for gratitude. We thank you so much for your grace, for your blessing and favor showered upon us every minute of every day. May our eyes and our hearts be open to all of your blessings, and may we live in a constant state of thankfulness. And we pray all these things. In the matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. Well, I hope to see you in church this weekend. I am really looking forward to it, preaching in 1 Corinthians 13, verse 7. I love that verse. Plus communion in all services, plus the welcome lunch for new visitors at 1215 on Sunday, plus the family park day, also 1215 on Sunday. It's going to be a great weekend. I hope to see you at TLC.